35 years ago when um, uh, I was doing readings. Uh, at the time we were doing uh, things like the, the wonderful um, Miners event. At that time I used to try and always have a new thing to read. Um, that became impossible later on as it got, you know. Um, but this afternoon, I'd been working on this one for quite a while, um, but I did get it finished and do an extra couple of verses for it. It's just um, a thing called Tragedy or Shit Happens. Um, <laughs> the reason uh, it started going through my head a couple of years ago, I went to see this musical. It was a really, really enjoyable musical. Most musicals are, really, even if they're quite cheesy. And this was the Buddy Holly story. And there it was in the festival theatre. And poor old Buddy, he was about 45, the guy that was playing him. And he wasn't that good a singer. He was all right. And they hadn't even got him really decent glasses, you know? I thought they could have afforded that. So anyway, but, but it ended up a brilliant night because Buddy Holly's songs are so wonderful. And so it was a great night out. And uh, of course, they had a great difficulty with it because everybody knows the story. You know, thanks to, um, well, if you don't know it um, for any other reason, you'll all know Bye Bye and Miss American Pie, the day the music died. You know how Buddy Holly, he was about 21 or 22 or something like that, when he got killed in that plane crash home from a gig somewhere. He got killed along with a big bopper. And um, it's the only decent song um, that Don McLean guy ever wrote, I think. <laughs> uh, I can't stand Starry Starry Night and all the other, all the other kind of sentimental key. Not for me. But the day the music died was pretty good. But, of course, dramatically, this gives you a difficult thing. Because this was a biopic musical. So when it came to the bit he was going over there on this tour, his wife was saying to him, Don't rush back, buddy. You know, take your time on your way back. You know, you don't have to get back. And he was saying, I'm coming home for you, dear. And she was saying, no, take your time, buddy. And it got funnier and funnier So um, to me. So when I was going home on the train that night, I started this. But I finished it today. And here we go with tragedy, tragedy, or shit happens. Once again, not my own voice. Tragedy, or shit happens. Don't get down the basement, buddy. Then he got on that plane. Can you not take a telling? Well, I'll not tell you again. The wife tell you to think on, buddy. So could you not bloody thunk? It was snoring like fuck. The propeller fell off and the pilot was drunk. If your name happens to be Kennedy, remember who you are. And then he go bowling down boulevards in Dallas in an open top car. Oedipus. Did neither your mon nor your pa no tell you to body swear the oracle? Oh dear, oracles very seldom tell you what you wanted to hear. Ariadne, by all means snog Theseus, afore he goes in to try and kill the Minotaur. Something hot to put a bit of heart in the boy. But did he go too far and betray your mother and father with own fatal ball of wool? and then forget to change the black sails to white. Theseus and Ariadne, not cool. Jason, don't underestimate Medea, cause she'll make you wish she'd never been born. Far less ever burned her. Hell hath no fury than that woman scorned. Aye, there's many a fond attraction proves fatal. Push comes to shove. Romeo and Juliet, didn't he fall in love? Once embarked on a course of action, no need to go on with it just to keep up a front. Gertrude, didn't he marry Claudius? The man is a cunt. <laughs> Ophelia, of course he did. Male and once, then blamed it on you. You were too young, too busy picking flowers to ken that's just what men do. Polonius, your, uh, your platitudes are tedious. You're maybe trying to be helpful, but please, if you will hide and eavesdrop behind the arras, don't bloody sneeze. <laughs> maybe a father's death demands revenge, but ho, ho he laertes, didn't he rush back for France 
Are you more, are you more than likely to end up deeper than Guildenstern and Rosencrantz? But no, back you will come to Elsinore to precipitate a naughty or killing. After your peer sister Tay drowns herself when she's no the full shilling, Dawn's very near the end finished. Bar Gertrude accidentally drinking from the unpoisoned cup. Oh, and Laertes, if you will poison your sword tip, don't get your spoils mixed up. Hamlet, you did think and think again before acting. Did it help you? No one bit. Maybe if shit is determined to happen, it will. This is it. <laughs>